Good morning, boys and girls. I am so happy to see you today. I have missed you. All right, you ready for this lesson? Okay, so now we are going to learn about St. Bishoy. And you're going to say, well, I'm not familiar with him. So this is the point of the lesson for you to learn about him and why he's so special. So St. Beshoy, actually, he was known as the beloved of Christ. And at the end of this lesson, you're going to know why. So here goes. So St. Beshoy had a mommy and daddy that were Christians, which is great because not everybody was a Christian those days. So they must have taught him a lot about Jesus and um, God and the church. And so, you know what? When he was grown up, he wanted to go to the wilderness. That's like the desert, away from everybody and away from the city life. He wanted to go in the wilderness to be a monk. Okay, so I know you know what a monk is, or at least you've heard what that word it means. So who remembers? Have you ever visited the monastery? Well, if you have, you've seen lots of them. The monks live in the monastery. They live away from the city and they are living there to praise God and to pray for all of us. So that's where he wanted to live. He wanted to be a monk. And you know what? He did become a monk. So people like that who learn, search for solitude and quiet so that they can hear God talk to them and that they can have a one-on-one -on -one deep conversation with God anytime that they want to. They are very special and we need their prayers. So one day, God spoke to him. So spoke to Beshoy, and he said, "You know, Beshoy, you can see me up in that mountain of Skeets. And my goodness, what do you think? What do you think he was thinking? Yeah, of course, he wanted to see him. So I'm going to show you a picture. Okay, look at this picture. Now keep this in mind." because we're going to talk about this. This is going to be Abba Peshoy, and this is a special person that you're going to know about if you continue to listen to me. <laughs> okay, listen to the story. So he told all the other monks and he said, guess what, guess what? God told me that we can all see him up in the mountain of Skeets. So what do you think they did? They all hurried up and they tried to go up the mountain because that's where you can see, see God. You can see Jesus up there. And so they were climbing up. Now, the mountain is kind of hard to go up to. Maybe it's a little easier going down, but if you're going to climb a mountain, it's hard. So they were all struggling to go up the mountain and it could be a long way. Um, you know, it could take hours or days. So on the way up, there was this old man. And like, oh, he just was struggling and he was kind of heavy looking. And he was struggling and, and you know, there was just no way he was ever going to go up there uh, anytime soon. So everybody was like, oh, no, I, I'm already having a hard time bringing myself up this mountain. There's no way that I can uh, have another heavy load on top of myself. So everybody passed him by, this old man. And Beshoy, he said, he, he never thought that. He said, oh, no, I must help him. So you know what? As, as tired as Beshoy was and as heavy looking as that man was, he lifted him up and carried him up the mountain. And I wanted you to know how much kindness that takes 
to sacrifice of yourself, of your comfort, for someone else. And this is what Ishoi did, right? Mm -hmm. So he carried him up, and at first he was super duper heavy. I mean, he was heavy. But then, as he climbed higher and higher the mountain, the man got lighter and lighter. And he said, like, what's going on? It's incredible. That doesn't usually happen, right? When we get tired, things start to feel heavier, not lighter. So that's actually what happened. And then, all of a sudden, Bishoy got it. He said, oh, wow, this is Jesus Christ, this is God that he's carrying. So you're going to say, so why did that happen to Peshoy? Well, because of his incredible heart, his incredible loving, kind heart. Jesus did this for him. He let him carry him up the mountain. So back to this picture. So now you're going to tell me, who is this on Peshoy's shoulders? Who is this? This is Jesus Christ. This is Jesus that he actually carried up the mountain. Now remember, nobody wanted to carry him up. Everybody ignored him, except for St. Bishoy. So I want to talk to you about kindness. Now you don't have to do anything huge for your, your actions to matter. You can do kindness in the smallest, smallest things. You can even just say hello to someone that isn't feeling quite right. Or maybe you can pick something up that someone dropped. Little things like that matter a lot. So you remember that next time you're around someone that maybe needs your help or a word of encouragement. And you do that for them. Okay? So... Remember St. Beshoy. Remember to pray to him and ask him to pray for you, to God, to stay with you all day, watch over you, and he will listen to you and do that. So remember kindness. Kindness is a big deal, and it's very important, and it's one of God's commands that we be kind to each other. Okay? So... I'll see you next time. God willing, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. See you next time, God willing.